episode of Back to Basics. Um, today we are going to talk about starting your seeds. So if you followed along in the last video, we talked about what you needed to get ready for your garden, um, and this is going to be the next step um, if you've decided to go with your own seeds. Um, I have Whitney Kopchak here with me today, and she's going to walk us through how to plant our own seeds. Okay, so the first thing we're going to walk Ashley through is planting tomato seeds. Um, so when you're at the store picking your varieties, just make sure to look at the back of the package. Most seeds that are sold at garden stores or like Home Depot Lowe's in this area are fit for your area, but just make sure that, you know, it's not something that's designed for a Florida climate or a super cold climate. Um, so you can look at the back of it and it will give you that information. It will tell you if it needs full sun, how many days until harvest, how to plant them when you go to plant them in your garden. It will also tell you when to start your seeds indoors. So it says on this package, six to eight weeks before planting outdoors. Um, our last frost date here in Zanesville is around May 4th, May 7th. So we're right about that six to eight week mark. Um, so we are going to start with this. Um, so germination is something that you're also going to want to keep an eye on. Um, carrots, celery are things that take a really long time. It can be something from like two to three weeks. Um, I planted some tomato seeds last week and they're already germinating. So they're just different germination rates for different types of seeds. Um, so you might need to do a little research on that and not trash them and think you need to start over. Um, so Ashley has a container here that we showed last time. We ordered these off of Amazon. Um, whatever kind of container you want to, you're going to be using um, is fine. You can use takeout containers or like lettuce containers from the grocery store, egg cartons, uh, something with some drainage. And then you also are going to want to make some type of lid for it temporarily to keep the moisture in until those seeds germinate. So if it's something that didn't come with a lid, you can take plastic wrap and dome it um, and that just helps to keep it nice and humid and moist in there. Um, these ones came with a lid. And then they have this little toggle on them so they stay it stays closed and then as your seeds start to germinate and they're all going to kind of germinate at the at different times you can start to open this so the seeds that have started can get some fresh air but it's still keeping some of that moisture in so what we have in this container is just a bag of seed starting mix that we showed last video um, it's by jiffy i bought it at royal king um, i've also found it at walmart and i just added a little bit of water to it to kind of moisten it up it's very dry when um, you open the package. So there's a little bit of water in here, and Ashley's just going to fill all of her little pots. And then what's nice about these containers is you can lift this insert up and out. And there are holes in the bottom and so then there's we're gonna add some water to the bottom and that will help keep it um, watered from the bottom up as well so how much water should I put in the bottom of this? Um, I usually put about a half an inch it will absorb and then I just check it every couple of days to make sure there's still some water in there I also keep a spray bottle by where I have my seedlings so that if I see one that starts to look a little dry on the top I can just squirt it um, we're just gonna use um, this little seed marker um, but just a small little hole you can also use the tip of a pencil um, there's also kind of a rule of thumb to plant seeds twice as deep as this actual seed is so tomato seeds are one of the larger seeds um, things like carrots you can almost just plant on top and just brush a little soil over um, because they're so tiny so then we're just gonna put one seed in every little pot if you happen to get two it's okay you can separate those later um, and so, yep, you just drop them down in there. Once you drop them in, you can cover them up with the soil. All right, and then she's going to just cover those up. Seeds are also um, good for a couple years. After about two years, they will start to lose their germination success. Um, so you might have to plant a few more, but you don't feel like you need to throw your packets away if you didn't use all of them um, this year. Um, you can try again, you can use them for the next few years as well. And then we're going to make a label so we know what they are. Um, we have different varieties of tomatoes started, so we are gonna actually label these that they are a beef steak. And 
then that will stick down in there. Um, once I get these inside, I'll take the spray bottle and just dampen the top of it real quick. We'll place the lid on. And, these, um, and then we'll wait for them to germinate. So these are some cherry tomato plants that I planted um, last week. And they are all up but one little spot. And you can see how they're getting pretty tall and they're leaning. So they were over here on the shelf that I use for my grow light and we don't have all of our lights set up yet so they're actually stretching to try and get that light. This is why it's really important that you have a really good light source for your seedlings because if I was to keep letting them grow like this they would get very leggy and they wouldn't be strong enough to be supported outside. Um, so these ones are actually going to get moved right here under the light um, and then tonight I'm going to get the other lights put up so that we have more of them. Um, but you want that light, strong light source so that they can grow straight up and not grow to the side. Um, we actually purchased some grow lights from Amazon, but you can also use like a big shop light like we talked about in our last video. Um, so these leaves that are started right now are called the first leaves. Um, and it's kind of funny because all plants look the same. So we've got marigolds here, we've got celery we've got tomatoes, those first leaves all look very similar. So that's why it's really important to label your plants too. But as they grow, they start to get their true leaves and that's where you can start to see the um, leaves that you recognize from plants. So we've got broccoli and cauliflower here. These are about three to four weeks um, old. They're growing really strong and healthy. Those stems are turning brown um, and we just keep raising the grow lights as they grow. Um, and they will actually um, be going outside here in the next couple weeks. So once your seedlings um, are close to maturity and it's about a week before you're gonna take them outside, you can start what's called the hardening off process. And that's just taking them outside and sitting them in the sun in the natural weather conditions outside. Obviously not when it's rainy because they're just babies, but like if there's a breeze blowing, you can sit them just in the shade, just get them acclimated to the outdoors. Um, so we will talk about that more as we get closer to that time period, but this is kind of just the setup um, of how plants will start to germinate and start growing. Mm -hmm.